with a large heat warhead that penetrates thousands of millimeters of steel and a mountain control unit. The anti-tank guided missile has become a worthy opponent of mountain tanks, and their rivalry continues. In the second half of the 1960s, the BGM-71 tow anti-tank missile weapon system was developed to become the primary anti-ammo weapon system of the United States and its allies during the Cold War. Despite being an aging generation of anti-tank systems, the tow missile remains popular in modern warfare and has proven to be one of the most effective anti-tank systems in the world. Based on the BGM-71, Iran reverse engineered to create a copy called Tufan. Tufan is even exported to Iraq and Syria and a large number of non-state actors in the Middle East and has been used in the Iran-Iraq War, the 2006 Lebanon War and the Iraqi, Syrian and Yemeni civil wars. The two fan forms the backbone of the Iranian Armed Forces ATGM inventory and is procured in large quantities in a variety of variants. The BGM-71 tow was first introduced in 1970 by Hughes Aircraft. The weapon is now manufactured by Raytheon. It is fitted with command to lie of sight guidance and all the gunner has to do is to keep the crosshairs in his sight on the target until the missile impacts. It can be found in a wide variety of manually carried and vehicle mounted forms as well as widespread used on helicopters. On the basic infantry version, the tow launcher is mounted on a portable tripod. The missile is carried in the sear container. The crew consisted of three soldiers, including the commander, gunner, and assistance gunner. The launcher can be disassembled and transported by the crew. The tow launchers are typically used by separate anti-tank companies for heavy anti-ammo work. Basically, the tow missile system consists of the load trips, fire control unit, support assembly, and missile system. The missile itself has a conventional aerodynamic shape characterized by a well-contoured body with a short nose cone. Four spring-loaded fins are mounted at a midships and aft to help stabilize the missile during flight extended out immediately after launch. The warhead is contained in the forward portion of the missile as the guidance center where the motor and fuel store is to the rear. The original missiles are well guided. It is not a fire and forward type weapon. It requires the shorter to keep the target in the line of sight until the missile impacts. First production missiles had a maximum range of 3,000 meters. Although it was estimated that the basic tow missile could penetrate 500 to 600 mm of raw homogeneous armor, according to now unclassified study, it penetrates only 430 mm. can be deployed on a variety of vehicles, even helicopters. The launcher can be mounted on the Humvee. It is used as the main anti-tank weapon of the M2 infantry fighting vehicle and the M3 Bradley cavalry fighting vehicle. There are also dedicated anti-tank missile carrier based on the Striker and LAV-25. Since 25. its inception, the tow missile has rapidly replaced the obsolete anti-tank missile weapons and recoilless rifles in the U.S. Army service. To date, 
Tor has undergone many upgrade programs with versions far superior to the original models. The engine function was improved, as was the guide, and the warhead was enlarged for a greater armor penetration effect. During the war in Ukraine, the U.S. provided a series of military equipment to Ukraine, including thousands of tow tank killers to help Ukraine deal with Russian forces. And this weapon still proves its worth, destroying thousands of enemy armor vehicles.